How you feeling, Sammy? <laughs> I guess mixing whiskey and Jaeger wasn't such a gangbuster idea, was it? You know, there's a really good hangover remedy. It's uh, it's a greasy pork sandwich served up in a dirty ashtray. Oh, I hate you. I know you do. Hey, turns out when Grandma Rose was a tight, she had a Creole nanny who wore a hoodoo necklace. Oh. So you think she taught Rose hoodoo? Yes, I do. All right. I think it's time we talk to Rose then. Oh, Thompson, we're not here to hurt you. It's okay. We... Rose? This woman's had a stroke. Yeah, but Hoodoo's hands on. Yeah. What the hell? What are you doing in here? Oh, we just want to talk to Rose. Look at her. She's scared out of her wits. I want you out of my hotel in two minutes, or I'm calling the cops. Have you started packing yet? No. Why not? I don't want to move. Yes, I know, but we have to. But Maggie says we're not allowed to move. Yeah? Tyler, enough. Maggie is imaginary. You're too old to have an imaginary friend, and I am done pretending. I don't like her. You okay? Well, at first we thought it was some sort of a hoodoo curse. But that out there, it was definitely a spirit. We need to know when your mother had the stroke. Well, what does that have to do with it? Just answer the question. Uh, about a month ago? Right before the killings began. You see? So what if Rose was working hoodoo, but not to hurt anyone, to protect them? She was using the five-spot urns to ward off the spirit. Right, until she had a stroke and she couldn't anymore. Oh, I don't believe this. Listen, sister, that car didn't try to run you down by itself, okay? All right, so you need to clear everybody out of here. Your employees, um, your mother, your daughters, everyone. Um, I only have one daughter. One? I thought Tyler had a sister named Maggie. Maggie's imaginary. 